Hi mamas, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, then welcome. Welcome to this family thing. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This video is all about inspiration for Christmas. We've got Christmas coming in under a month, so it's all very exciting, but it is difficult to have ideas when it comes to gifts for your child. So I'm gonna be giving you a whole list of some of our favorite resources that we have at the moment. Some of the things on my daughter's Christmas list as well. And it's all gonna be educational, kind of Montessori approved, sustainable where possible because that's something that I really focus on. So keep watching and I will share with you my whole list of Christmas inspiration. So clay is actually one of our favorite things to play with and it's a bit of a step up from Play-Doh because you can make permanent things, little keepsakes that dry afterwards. Play-Doh is one of those toys that is evergreen so you just keep playing with it over and over again whereas clay isn't really like that. But it feels kind of the same. It's really cool because you can put things together, you can make keepsakes, you can paint them afterwards once they're dry and you can use them for, for things. So we've made little animals, we've made bowls that we put little trinkety things in. Clay is on our list with cutters and all the different play-doh tools that you can get you can also use those with clay as well board games are an excellent gift especially if your child is kind of above the age of three because they start to have more concentration they start to understand instructions and rules they're really into these kind of strategy type things so my daughter's just turned four and we've been playing board games for the, probably the last six months or more and you can start with something really simple you can start with something like snakes and ladders or you could start with Jenga so you can help build that together so we play Monopoly at the moment like kids Monopoly and she absolutely loves that bingo games are really good for younger children as well because something like ocean bingo for example which I'll link below you can use in a really simple way so you can just get all the cards out and they can learn the names of all the you know fish or they could just look at the cards and kind of organize them and pile them up or whatever they want to do so it doesn't have to be used in the game version and then you can start to use it more like actual bingo as they get older and they can concentrate a little bit more but yeah monopoly we play snakes and ladders jenga all those types of things are really great fun games that you can keep revisiting with your children all the time so i'll link those below for you the little people big dreams books are so so cool for teaching children about leaders and inspirational people from music to scientists to archaeologists so many different people we've got stephen hawking ones we've got ada lovelace we've got lots of different female inspirational leaders because i want mia to know about these people and know that there are inspirational people out there who can do lots of different things and for her to feel that she can do those things too as a mum to a girl that's quite important to me there's so many different types um, I'll link some below of the ones that we have but if you search little people big dreams it will come up with a whole host of different books that you can buy so the Tony box is something we got last year I would absolutely recommend it it's really cool if your child is interested in music or audiobooks and stories even if your child isn't they're likely to be as they get older so if your child just likes to dance around and sing but isn't much interested in audiobooks at the moment then it's still a really great purchase because as they get older and they start to listen to audiobooks and audio stories then you can add those Tonys in. Tony Box is great for children because it's completely independent. They don't need you to show them how to use it. They don't need your help. It's really simple for children to get the hang of. So it means that they can pick it up and listen to music or stories anytime they want to. I love for my daughter to have independence in her choices like that. I would recommend it. It comes in all different colours. It's not that expensive and you can add on lots of different Tonys, you know, whenever you feel. A train set. I think most children probably have a train set. We've had one since she was really little. But if you don't, if you've got a very young child and you haven't explored that yet, then train sets are really fun. They're really good for ages one all the way up to like 10, 11, I think, because you can add so many different pieces to them. You can add different trains and different people and different accessories. It's really good for them to learn how to build and construct their own train tracks. It's just an open-ended, everlasting type toy 
that they just revisit all the time. I would definitely recommend it. You can buy train sets really cheaply on places like Facebook Marketplace. You can get them secondhand in charity shops. I'm really pro buying secondhand when it comes to birthdays and Christmas. I know it's not the most mainstream thing to do, but I'm hoping that it will become kind of normal because we have to bear in mind the planet and buying new and all that waste isn't necessarily a good thing. So you can buy these things secondhand and save yourself a lot of money. Kinetic sounds really cool. We've had this for a couple of years. You can get it in all different colors or you can just get it in a plain kind of sandy color. It's a bit of a step up from sand because what's fascinating about it is it doesn't dry. It doesn't dry and it doesn't really stick to anything, but it sticks together. So it's really moldable. You can mold it into different shapes. You can cut it. You can use it in so many different ways. It's really one of those open-ended, sensory type, moldable, pliable type gifts. My daughter plays with it even when she was one and now she's four and it's one of her favorite things. So it's on my list and the link is below. So these really cool musical books I just discovered. It's on my daughter's Christmas list because I fell in love with them. I've been wanting to introduce her to more classical music and these are basically famous ballets. So there's a Swan Lake one, obviously for Christmas there's a Nutcracker one. So it tells the story of Nutcracker. They're really good signs and on each page you've got a button that you can press and it plays the exact music from the scene of the ballet as it would be on stage and then at the back it goes through all the scenes so it's probably not that suitable for a younger child because they're quite delicate pages and the buttons are very subtle so it's not obvious for a little child to know where that button is but it's really cool if your child is a bit older so if your child's kind of three upwards then these are really cool for introducing them to classical music so I have a little friend with me uh, are you joining me for this part of the video, are you? So, I want to talk about Den Kit. It's actually called The Den Kit. It's on my daughter's Christmas list. Our friends actually have it, and we have used it with them in the forest, and we had such a good time. I thought it was an excellent gift, so it's on her Christmas list. It's a really cool canvas bag, and inside they have everything they need to build a den in the forest or in the woods or wherever. It's got like a, a big tarpaulin, it's got lots of strings. Yes, honey? No problem. Thank you, darling. Okay. All right, see you soon. He's got hammers and pegs and things for building in the forest, and it's all packed into this really cool bag. So, I, I mean, I love forest school. You'll know from my previous videos, it's something that I try and do quite a lot. I love to get into the forest and just explore and come up with activities to do together out there. So this is a really cool thing. Um, I'll link it below. It's from a really cool company, the Den Kit Company. And uh, yes, I love it. So another gift that's on my daughter's list is a marble run. I've been wanting to get her a marble run for quite a long time. There's a museum in our hometown and they do a kind of marble mania thing, which is like once a year. Unfortunately, I wish it was more, but it's only once a year. It's really cool where you can kind of build marbles on this big magnetic wall and make your different runs and it's really fun and she loves that. So I really wanted to get her a marble run that she could construct herself in different ways. It's really good for problem solving, it's really good for coming up with your own ideas and all that kind of stuff. So that is on my list too and I'll link that below. So I hope you enjoyed my video, I hope that gave you lots of inspiration for Christmas and lots of play ideas with your little ones. So enjoy your Christmas, have an amazing time. If you are new to my channel, then don't forget to like if you liked this video and subscribe and always comment. I love to hear from you and share and all that kind of thing because it really helps my channel to grow. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.